Hey everyone, let's resume our project. Now we can check what are the other things we can experiment. Okay, uh, first let me download the data set again. Okay, we have already uh, worked with this column and average monthly hours, number of project. Now we can, uh, now we can check the satisfaction level with average monthly hours. Okay. Let's do a scatter plot. SNS scatter plot data equals to DF. That means the data set is DF. X is the X column where we can write average. This one uh, will be in the X, comma, Y. We want to check satisfaction level. Okay. So this one can be satisfaction level next given hue that is on left whether they have left or state okay now let's see okay one minute let's give alpha equals to 0 0.4 now let's check so we can check that those who have worked for 250 to 300 they have left see this one left but they have remained like 150 to 250 hours not 250 because here uh, 230 or we can say so 200 to 230 is kind of an optimum where nobody has left and the satisfaction level is uh, we can say 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 because at satisfaction level 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 some people have left here also some people have left those who have worked for this long hours 250 to 300 they have a very low level of satisfaction that is kind of logical if you work too much you must have lower level of satisfaction and they have almost left more than 300 hours all left here also we can see that some people have left. They have worked for more number of hours. Though their satisfaction level is high. See here the satisfaction level is high. But still they have left because they have worked so much. They have worked many number of hours. So th this is the kind of optimum place. Where it is like uh, 150 to 230 we can say. And the satisfaction level is kind of 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 okay so this one we can derive from from this graph so we can write that those who have worked for 240 hours monthly and more has all left and have a very lower level of satisfaction mostly right number five mm, satisfaction level with 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 and have worked for more uh, not more uh, between 150 to 230 have retained have stayed in the um, organization or company okay that is fine okay now let's see what are the other things we can check df dot head the more you plot graphs the more you try to explore the data the more you will be able to know about them okay because this data will help you to to know that whether an employee will stay in the company or will leave the company accordingly you can take measurements to improve uh, so that they uh, stay okay now see here what are the other things we can do now check satisfaction level with time spent okay see so we can create a box plot sns dot box plot 
data equals to df x equals to satisfaction level comma y equals to time spent company you can rename it to something smaller also that will be better in fact q equals to left and given horizontal orientation okay now let me see see here mm -hmm. higher level of satisfaction have not left time spent eight years high level of satisfaction has not left time spent seven years good satisfaction level not left six years some have left with good satisfaction also okay five years some people have left but four years four years uh, with lower level of satisfaction has left see those who have worked four years but with a lower level of satisfaction people have left here also in second year also maximum people have left okay okay now let's check another histogram sns dot hist plot data equals to df x equal to time spent company and u equals to left multiple equals to dodge okay now let's see see here okay this is uh one minute shrink equals to five now see now it's looking uh, good so you can see that um, at the second second year people maximum has remained fourth year people have uh, started leaving it also have left sixth year 18 okay when they have reached 18 uh, there are few employees but they have remained okay so second year is also fine new employees are also not leaving but fourth year this is third year and fourth year kind of employees are leaving right fifth year also they are leaving but at least here some more people have stayed but in this two years four years and five years maximum people have left but they have remained maybe they have stayed for a long time they are adapted with the organization and environment okay so we can write a point from here like um, we can say that those who have worked for more than seven years have stayed in the company fine next uh, next we have seen that uh, this year four five fourth year and fifth year here also see fourth year some people have lower satisfaction level okay so we can write those working after four years in the company sorry having a lower satisfaction level has left the company so the measurement can be taken when employees are kind of completing four years so that some incentive can be provided to them so that they stay in the company their satisfaction level needs to be improved okay okay fine let's see what are the other things we can explore see the data set again so we have kind of worked with satisfaction level with time spent company you can check uh, with different kind of combinations 
all our motive is to find the hidden patterns like why they are living now let's uh, see in which department they are working okay so we can write da department department of dot value counts it will provide us that how many people are living in which department see here they are working in sales they are working in technical support it okay there are many departments let's create one more histogram sns dot hist plot data equals to df x equals to department q equals to left uh discrete equals to one q order equals to zero comma one multiple equals to large see what this is the output they are overlapping then we can write plot dot x sticks rotation equals to 45 now see okay now it's visible okay give one more thing like shrink equals to 0 0.5 now let's see Uh, nothing we can actually conclude from here because in every department some people have stayed and some have left but in sales maximum people have stayed there actually uh, nothing can be derivable okay no problem let's check something else what are the other things we can explore see here uh, last evaluation project monthly hours you know, one thing we can do that is checking the satisfaction level uh by group by also like df dot group by and i'll group by on left i'll group by on left then on satisfaction level dot aggregate np dot mean comma in p dot median now see so here what it does we are grouping by on satisfaction level and creating the aggregation value mean aggregation this one median aggregation this one okay so you can see that those who have left has a satisfaction level of 66 percent median 69 those who have uh, sorry those who have stayed for them those who have left satisfaction level is low median also satisfaction level is low that is um, right okay obviously those who have more satisfaction has remained those who have less have left that is fine okay so we have kind of explored many things and in our next class we will try to apply the model on this class so that we can predict whether in future a an employee will stay in the company or leave the company okay bye happy learning